iPhone 5s probably leak photos emerge, Nokia launches their new Lumia 620, and Google goes crazy with software updates today. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering why old Android devices can't get Google Now, and this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, Google has gone crazy today with software upgrades. On the iOS side, the YouTube application now supports the iPhone 5 and also the iPad, which it didn't before. And then when it comes to Android, first of all, Google Now as a service now supports boarding passes, airline services, and everything else. Then we've got enhancements to Google Voice that you didn't see before. And finally, the coolest one is the fact that Google Translate now supports the fact that you can just take a photo with text, and then OCR will translate everything on the go. Kind of cool and it's all free, so make sure you upgrade. And then on the Windows Phone side, Nokia has just announced their Lumia 620, which is a budget-minded device that doesn't have those budget-minded specs. It brings the interchangeable colors, the replaceable battery, and the replaceable storage that we see on the Lumia 820, but it's not as bad as the Lumia 610 that we saw months ago. The device will be available in Q1 2013, and yeah, I know, Q1 is comprehended by three months, but hey, that's what we know. Now, the company that clearly hasn't figured out Windows Phone 8 yet is Samsung. Their much expected ATVS has been delayed for months, and now it's going to be delayed even more because we're now expecting it to come until February 2013. If you were looking for this device, you might as well look elsewhere. Now, on the positive note, Android is always great when it comes to Samsung. They've just released Android 4.1.2 to the Samsung Galaxy S3, and it brings the multi-window support that we know and love in the Galaxy Note 2, so make sure you hit the update, at least in the unlocked models for now and let us know in the comments down below if you got the upgrade. Now HTC's Android offering for 2013 is already making it to rumor mill. We've got an M7 codenamed device that has the same bells and whistles as we already know on the Verizon Droid DNA, the same 1080p display, the same processor, everything. We'll most likely see this device being launched at MWC 2013, but it's just interesting to see that the future flagship lineup of HTC will look exactly like a phone that we already know. We'll see. And finally, for the oh no, please stop news of the day, we've got iPhone rumors again. Yes, there are images of a probable iPhone 5 casing already in the market and apparently it's going to have a couple of minor tweaks here and there and most probably it'll have some enhanced software, but it looks exactly like the iPhone 5 that we already know. It'll probably just be called the iPhone 5S. And that leads me to the question of the day. What do you think about Apple's new scheme? Hopefully it is a new scheme, we're not really sure, but they revamped the iPad just six to seven months after their third generation iPad. So do you like Apple to be revamping their device so oftenly, or would you like for Apple to do this every year like they used to? Everybody in favor of Apple doing this every year, say I with me because I am, but leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.